Welcome to an instructional video of Logic Vision Series Systems Scan Assistant, Scan Coach Guidance Tools. In this instructional video, you will learn about the following key aspects. 1. What is Scan Assistant? What is Scan Coach? 2. How do I use the Scan Assistant feature? 3. How do I use the Scan Coach feature? 1. What is Scan Assistant Scan Coach? Scan Assistant and Scan Coach are two user reference features which are closely linked. Scan Assistant provides an automated exam script sequence, while Scan Coach is an enhancement of this feature, wherein clinical reference images and animations are added to depict some information related to each step in the Scan Assistant script selected. Together, these features are intended to act as reference tools for newer users of ultrasound. 2. How do I use Scan Assistant? Let's now go through the procedure of using the Scan Assistant feature. Scan Assistant provides an automated exam script that moves the ultrasound user through an ultrasound exam step by step. This script empowers users to arrange the operations desired during ultrasound exams. This includes imaging parameters, initiating measurements, assigning measurements to a worksheet, and initiating image annotations. This tool can also be used for simplification or standardization of workflows. Let's walk through a few steps of an active scan assistant protocol. The patient's information has already been entered into the system. Once the probe and preset have been selected, the user selects the relevant protocol from the Scan Assistant drop-down menu on the Patient Information screen. You will see the Scan Assistant display description on the left side of the monitor. Verify the program name, the program step status, and what is required within the various steps. For the OB2 protocol, you will see the suggested views and the suggested P1 or store action. Once that view is stored, a check mark will appear and the assistant will move to the next view, which is highlighted as the active step with the green box. The sonographer is performing the exact same exam. On the top of the screen, she is using Scan Assistant. On the bottom, she is not. Scan Assistant enables one simple keystroke to combine functions. Otherwise, the sonographer must interact with the system using keys that are spread all over the console. In case you want to capture additional views for a scan plane, you have the ability to pause Scan Assistant within an active protocol by pressing the pause key on the bottom of the left side of the Scan Assistant menu. Let's walk through a few steps to configure Scan Assistant for your department needs. You already have access to several protocols that come with the system, and you can customize these protocols using the Scan Assistant creator in Utility. First, let's show you where to find the protocols that are available on the system and can be displayed for use. Enter Utility, select Scan Assistant, and then Scan Assistant Manager tab. The available menu on the left is the default protocols available within the system. Using this menu, users can push protocols to the right side of the screen so that they will be displayed for all users to choose from. These are default factory protocols. To customize protocols, users can use the same approach to press Utility on the touch panel, then select Scan Assistant, and then select Scan Assistant Manager and press Creator. This concludes the instructions for Scan Assistant for Logic Vision Series. Let us now proceed to show you how the Scan Coach feature works. 3. How do I use the Scan Coach feature? Scan Coach is a contextual reference tool. In other words, it allows you to quickly refer to additional information during a specific step or steps in a protocol when you desire. This makes it possible for you to use ScanCoach even while live scanning. ScanCoach leverages the built-in examination script of Scan Assistant and overlays it with reference information on scan plane acquisition and anatomical structures. As explained earlier, ScanCoach content can be displayed on demand by the user to quickly refresh some imaging information, which may help some users to acquire a scan plane. Let's go over how to access the ScanCoach tool. There are two levels of help available to the user, 
and these are configured on the two keys on either side of the scan coach icon. These are the reference key and animation key. If a scan assistant protocol is not already running and you would like to access scan coach, use either of the two scan coach keys to activate a desired protocol. The first time a user accesses ScanCoach, there is a disclaimer and limitation of liability screen that you should read and acknowledge in order to proceed with using the ScanCoach. You then go to the Scan Plane view you are trying to acquire, or one that is listed in the protocol, and press the reference key. The preloaded reference image for the selected view will then be displayed on the left side of the dual image, labeled as Reference. Reference is an ultrasound image of the selected scan plane, created by a sonographer. The right side of the display is the live B-mode image. At this time, the user can continue scanning, while having the advantage of being able to compare the live image being acquired with the reference to view related anatomical structures. Alternatively, the user can exit ScanCoach by pressing the ScanCoach key and continue scanning. If you want additional information, for example, visualizing the beam formation within the 3D anatomy and labeling of some key structures seen on the reference image, press the key on the left of the scan coach icon called the animation key. This brings up two animation windows. The top window shows a 3D representation, providing information on the beam formation within the 3D representation of the anatomy within the target organ. This animation also provides some indication of probe placement position on the patient's body for acquiring the selected scan plane. However, for applications like obstetric, this is dynamic as the baby is moving constantly in the mother's womb. Hence, the shown probe position may not apply for all fetal presentations. The lower window shows a schematic illustration of the reference image with annotations of the key anatomical structures that help users to identify structures on the reference image. The user can hide the reference image and or the animations when these are not needed. The user can navigate between steps of the protocol using the up and down arrow keys on the keyboard. An alternate method to activate or hide reference image is to click on the highlighted question mark icon seen along with the scan plane view. ScanCoach enables you to upload your own reference images for the scan plane views. Let's go through the steps to do this. Plug in a USB stick with your reference images saved in DICOM format. Now, press Utility on the keyboard. Then, select Scan Assistant. And then, select Scan Assistant Manager. Choose the desired protocol from the left-hand side window and press the Edit tab. Under the Scan Coach section on the right hand side of the display, select the desired scan plane and navigate to Reference Image. Browse to select and upload your image. This concludes the instructional video for Scan Assistant and Scan Coach for the Logic Vision series. For more details, you can contact your local application specialist in GE Healthcare.